Ah, yes. Well, hello, my pot squatches. Welcome to the long anticipated video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about low stress trading, bondage in action. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through, uh, we've got two plants that we're moving ahead with. Um, really, at the end of the day, uh, it's been about a week, week and a half. Um, over the last two weeks, we have been slowly transitioning, edging towards 12-12 on our four-day period for this. It is sort of a thing where, you know, you go a few days and then you reduce in an hour. You go a few days, you reduce it for an hour. We started at 18-6. Um, we're not, we're probably doing about 14, 15 hours on at the moment. Um, what that soft transition we're experimenting with is really allowing for a lot of pre-flowers to take hold within this plant and both plants. Um, what we're going to be doing though is we're going to be going through, we're going to be doing a bit of a default, we're going to be tying down, etc. What are you going to need for this? Well, one, we're going to go old school how I used to do it. We're going to drill some holes in our buckets. Okay, so a drill makes it easiest. You can use a nail, all the zig like that, but get your drill ready. Get a drill and you're going to need some cord to do it. So basically, I always find it amusing to use nylon cord because nylon is the only technology... The only thing, you know, it was meant to replace hemp, but yet hemp still did a better job and was cheaper. So I'm like, well, a little nylon will give you a little, you know, a nice little life. You can work in our grow. But let's get to this video and just get right into it. What are we going to need first? Well, first, we're going to need a plant. We're going to need our drill. We're going to need some scissors and some nylon cord and a bit of a know-how and intent. Let's get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we give... And here's the plant. As you can tell, we've got a bit of stretch going on. This phenotype definitely has uh, a little bit of stretch going on, but it's still got quite tight nodal spacing, even with the stretch that has happened, which isn't a bad thing. Um, typically, if we had done this earlier, okay, I would have come through and removed some of the sort of the main segment fan leaves, like this one from back here, right? That's coming off the main stalk. That is our number one viewed video on YouTube right now. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start tying her down to start. Let's take a look at the plant. So first I'm gonna pull off on the main where we there goes our drill. Where I topped, we've got these two main fan leaves. So we're gonna pull those off. The topping happened right here, and it led to these two big main tops and two good secondaries on the side. So what we're gonna do first though is you can start at the top or the bottom. For the point of this video, I think we're going to start at the top and work our way down. So first things first, we're gonna do this one here in the back, which means we're gonna drill a little hole. There we go. Hole is drilled now. Now we need a piece of nylon. That's right, giving nylon a purpose when it's really just a shittier version of him. All right, so where's our little hole? There we go. Feed in through our hole there. Sometimes you'll get a bit of a, uh, a de-raveling on this. Do I have a lighter on me? I do. So, just to make your life simpler, melt the tip of your nylon. Okay? Roll it in your fingers. It does get hot, but it's not too, too bad. Okay, and then we're gonna go through. Now, I'm just gonna clean this hole out a little bit. There it is. Making it nice and big. It'll make it easier for us to get in there. There we go. So typically when I'm tying my lines down, I'm, got, I'm not gonna tie it permanently. I'm going to do kind of more of a slip loop. Let's switch the camera angle on this. There we go. That's much better. So we've got our string through here. Okay. We're going to come up, pull it down like this. And we're going to want to do it like this. There's other types of knots we can do, but what we're doing is we're leaving it like this. Okay. And we'll go like this. And we're not going to tie this one off too heavily, right? Because then we can actually reopen it if we need to, to adjust. 
So this is the top branch here, okay? That we're bending down. Now, if you see here, oh, I'm gonna take that leaf off too here. Oh, there we go, be gentle, pay attention. <laughs> All right, so if you see here, this is where we did our initial top here, okay? There she is, two tops. We're going to reinforce this first before we start pulling down with this line. So, take just a little bit of nylon here. And again, we're just gonna melt our tips here. Whoop. Perfect. Now, part of why we're reinforcing is this is going to protect us from an inadvertent split at the point where we topped, okay? We're basically just trying, and we're not going super tight on that, okay? Because we don't need it to be tight. Um, we're just gonna go like this, and we're leaving lots of room in the middle of this as well, okay? So those branches can actually, if they wanna grow, they wanna get thicker, they'll be able to do so inside of the knot. We're gonna trim off our excess. There we go. Perfect. So we're basically lining this up with our hole. So our hole's down here, okay? So we've got this here, and here's our top branch, okay? So we're gonna line that up and pull this down. Now, this is low stress training, obviously. Um, often I'll do more of a high stress training on things, but I figured, Let's go back to old school and how we used to do it back in the day when I was a little more conscientious and nervous about doing hardcore high stress training. So we're gonna go like this and we're gonna pull this over like so. Let's see if we can zoom out. Let's see if we can zoom this out for everybody. There we go. Better to look for you there. We're gonna pull this side down initially, like so, okay? There we go. And we can retension these lines after the fact. So we're just gonna go like this and keep this one sort of initially done, like so. And we're gonna come around to the other side, because really what we need to do is we need to counterbalance, okay, that one tie down on the exact opposite side to keep our main segments well balanced. And we've reinforced our top. So we're gonna be able to take those two tops and then we're gonna start working our way down. Okay, so I'm gonna balance this in normal time and then we will go to the hyperlapse. Again, just melting the ends of our little nylon there. There we go. All right. So again, we're gonna go in through here. There we go. Nice, there we go. Go like so. Right through here, boom, looping out. There we go. Gently reinforce this, but to keep it adjustable. There we go. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of other branches for us to tie down, but we're going to come in through here now, and we're going to grab this other side here. And we are going to find a perfect place. Where did we tie off on that side? That side's kind of around here. We're going to go an inch and a half, two inches higher on the other side, which is going to give us a, a decent leveraging point to kind of really get this down and out. There we go. Got a nice bend going on, but we're, again, this is low stress training. So we're going very slowly because we're not trying to knuckle, as I like to call it, or super crop our plant. We're actually just trying to open her up like so. There we go. 
And again, we're gonna keep that not super tight off at the moment. Because now that we've done that, as you can see, we can come back to this other side now. And we're gonna loosen this off. And we're gonna counterbalance this one here. Oh, did I do that a bit tight? No, we got this here. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. So we're gonna, again, we're now loosening off this knot. I don't have the world's nimblest fingers. This will be easier if you're nimble fingered. Okay, there we go. So we're opening this back up now and we're going to pull this down further now to where it's kind of matching the other side a bit more, okay? So what we're trying to do is get a nice even Stevens thing going here on that. And now we're gonna go back through here like so. There we go. Okay, so that didn't really match the bend we did on the other one, to be fair, <laughs> but that's okay. So we're gonna go through now in a hyperlapse and I'm gonna show you tying down the rest of them. Let's go hyperlapse. So the way this uh, phone shoots uh, hyperlapses or time lapses there, but it's a little weird. So I'm just going to finish it and show you afterwards. Okay? Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we've come through and we've tied everything down, opened it all up. As you can see, we've done a lot of reinforcing here at these nodal segments, okay? And that really is kind of an important thing. Uh, we've done two lines on this one main stock, brought her back open and down. We came through, we removed uh, about four, four lower branches. Yes, you can clone these if you wanted to. You could make clones out of these, but we're one not worried about that because there's a lot of genetics on, on the channel, and this is going to be the last run that we do before I, I go away for a few weeks to go uh, make a feature film for all of you to go see. But let's get this in the chant and show you how she looks. All right, all right, And all right. here we are, my friends. As you can tell, nice and opened up. Really, you know, filling this, this is the right side of this tent. And we've got our one here. As you can tell, with our transitional things, her pre-flowers are going strong. So let's do this one. I'm not going to show you me doing it. I'm just going to show you before and... All right, my friends, this one, she was a bushier girl to get done. You know, I'll zoom out a little bit here. There we go. But we got her done. Got her all splayed out. We removed a few more branches from this one too. There's still some cleaning that I might do throughout these interior parts, but since it's all opened up now, that could all also just blossom and do well. But we've gone through, as I say, BDSM porno style. We've done, again, a lot of reinforcing. Some of our bends have gone to the point of almost high-stress trading, but that's okay. And it's good to go. So let's get this in the tent and show you the two plants together. And here we are, my friends. Two plants perfectly filling and existing with the tent. They've been trained in such ways that we can position them and have them dance together and make it sexy. But basically, this is how we're going to fill up this two-by-four uh, tent. And it's got lots of nice breathability room, okay? We've opened everything up, splayed everything out. You're going to see over the next coming days, things starting to adjust and start curving up, okay? Curving up, curving up. And we'll see the final shape, shall we say, that they're going to choose as they go into flower. Starting tonight at midnight, my friends, these two beautiful plants are going to go into flower.
That's right. So tune in. Uh, we'll, that means we'll we'll do the update videos on Sunday. So not tomorrow, but the following week, Sunday, we'll do the one week of flower update video. But my goodness gracious me, my friends, I'm glad I finally did it. We did leave it a bit long, but it's going to be all right. We're going to get her done. You know what I'm saying? It's time to get this BDSM porno flowery. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. For liking and subscribing. Tell your friends. Share our videos. That helps in our ongoing war against YouTube. Check out PodsquatchSales.com. That's right. It's the best way to support this channel. It helps us make money so we can keep the lights on. But you don't have to buy anything. No content will ever require you to spend money to be part of this community or to learn anything from my ass. But if you ever want to try out our genetics, hats, t-shirts, swag, etc., CBT, beard oil, all that crap, check it out. PotsquatchSales.com. Check out our Facebook group called the Potsquatch Growers Community. It's a safe place for all people to learn, to be, to share. Just don't be a dick fuck and answer the questions it is a liability. We'll see you on the next one, and we'll see you on, well, next week's Sunday, and then we'll also see you on Wednesday. All right. Remember, the true grower is the forever student. The true grower is not afraid to take risks. The true grower makes educated, stupid decisions. Love yourselves. Love your plants. We'll see you next time.